Hello, and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Vampire Hunters. Yeah, no, it's exactly what you think it is. Um, maybe we're gonna we're gonna get through it. Uh, this will be my second time playing through it. I played um, played it in my off time just a little bit. We actually have. Oh, okay. So we're doing our meta progression first for once. So we're upgrading one of our guns, uh, and that's about that. Um, and we have a new area. Let's do the first area. Ah, uh, shoot. Let's just do the second area. Uh, it's it's. I, I don't expect this to be very different in terms of its gameplay. So let me get a couple of my complaints out of the way real quick. There's no invert Y axis. Please change this. <laughs> um, the uh, second thing that I'm not a huge fan of th th this is if you didn't couldn't tell this is a first person vampire survival esque game. The main gimmick uh, is that the, you you have a ridiculous amount of guns. Um, and the gimmick is good. I like the gimmick. Um, it's it's fun to just like take a bunch of weapons and uh, wait what? Oh, let's uh, just like do away with that, away with that. I, I like just filling the screen with guns. It really does become ridiculous. Like the entire screen fills up with with weapons. Um, and I, I like it. it. It's it's good. Uh, and it is a vampire survivor like you know, vampire survivor like I don't know what. The, Whatever, whatever genre name we're, we're deciding is correct. Um, in its truest form, you know, it is very simple. Uh, we're shooting enemies, we're killing enemies, and then we're get, picking up things, and then we're taking new power-ups. Um, and I think that this game, like, it gets it right. It knows exactly what it wants to do, and it does it well. Um, I do think that this game ought to have a bit more going on um maybe maybe i'm off base here i think that a lot of people are going to be content with this because it is satisfying it is going to scratch exactly the itch that it means to um because you know it, it's like as as uh, a lot of these games let's take a orb uh all of a lot of these games are basically just like the dopamine button masher and this does that, you know, it's it's fun. But like, also, you might notice um, we don't got we don't have a lot of complexity in terms of our level design. Like, even as much as a you know, like a, an average survival, like we don't have like even um, you know, we don't have an arena. Even it's just a corridor. Um, and maybe this is a good idea. Maybe this is this means like maybe the dev tried to do an arena like Vampire Survivors and found that it was a bit too much because it meant that enemies were spawning behind you and uh, you know, it meant there was too much to keep an eye on and it just didn't work. I'm willing to believe that that is the case. Let's take the dragon whip. By the way, uh, we have more more guns now. Let's take the familiar raven. So we have um, two, the two weapons on the top there use not the left click, but the Q and E in order to use. Take, um, hold on. I just like to, if you couldn't tell, I just like to take as many new guns as possible because it's fun. And I mean, I feel like that is, you know, the, the promise of the game, basically. Um, I would argue that if, uh, if the arena is too complicated for something like this, if it's, if it was didn't work to have enemies like spawn behind you like it's not like it can't work because i've seen you know like we've seen devil daggers make it work uh and then more recently uh the follow-up where you like basically can see behind you um i think there's uh options for innovating um if like if it felt like too much Maybe I like I don't mean to like backseat, but I'm just like kind of thinking out loud and I like to I do like to put myself in the devs like seat um, and, and try and puzzle out how some decisions came to be. I'm getting shot a lot here. I need to do a better job of like killing these enemies as they come. Um, okay. Those orbs are doing it. Oh, God damn. Those bats seem like very far away and then suddenly they are just on me. 
but we're fine you know what let's do a speed up um you got to keep moving forward there's like basically a big old uh snow plow behind you trying to trying to plow you down ouch um now we're starting to upgrade the guns we currently have i just want more guns i truly do not care was that a was that a rather large gun yeah, we've got, um, I mean, we've got a little bit more going on in terms of mobility and, like, actual, like, active participation than a vampire survival like. Um, I feel like the goal of most survival likes is, like, allowing the player to focus purely on dodging and then all weaponry comes in the form of passives. Um, in this one, you are playing a much more active role. You are shooting, you're aiming, you have to actually kill stuff, you can back up. Backing up is, of course, you know, not necessarily what you want to do because there's there is the uh, threat and promise that you're going to get steam plowed or snow plowed. Reward bomb. But, you know, um, yeah, you can move forward. Uh, the I think I feel like the specials only purpose is to just buy you more time against the, the plow. You can sprint, but the game warns you, like, if you're sprinting, that means you're spawning more enemies. Like, it spawns enemies based on how much, uh, you know, you're moving forward. We're actually starting to build up a little bit of, uh, some combo business going on. Reload speed, increase, eh, eh, eh. And I mean, like, I think that that is, like, my, maybe my last, um, complaint is I feel like the power-ups are really uninteresting, um, outside of, like, the ones that give you new guns. I want to care, but I don't really. I actually couldn't, kind of wouldn't mind seeing, maybe this is something you unlock later, but, like, alt fire, I think, would be really cool, because then you basically have twice as many guns on the screen. Oh, that plow is, like, right behind us. Okay, let's, um... Uh... We. It seems to despawn enemies like right away. Wow. Yeah, we're not doing so good. Okay, let's. We can like run around them. It's spawning a lot of these guys now. I can't really kill these guys. Oh god. Yeah, I'm at, I'm, at, I'm at the point now where I can't kill enemies very quickly. Hmm, not sure what to do now. This is actually where I think that an arena would be more helpful than a corridor. Maybe that's, maybe the corridor is actually meant to be a punishment more than anything. Okay, good job. Looks like you've unlocked an achievement. Let's see it. Slay 10 enemies. We got some achievements. We collect our meta progression. Uh, Y'all know how this business works. Wait. Are we collecting all of these? Those are all achievements that we that we got. So we're upgrading. We're, we're getting new guns. And we're doing our meta progression. Y'all know how I feel about this business. Um, not great. But, I mean, it looks like you do get a lot of uh, meta progression for your, like, one game. And you can make meaningful upgrades pretty quickly. Uh, in theory, I don't know. Like, you know, it's I'm, I've, I'm always very mixed on, on the meta progression. Choose a character. So, like, are we just, are we picking guns? Oh, I see. We, we could have unlocked some new guns. Let's, um, let's do the gorilla. And we'll do uh, the same level. So, I, I mean, consensus, like, I sound very down on the game. But I wouldn't be covering it if I didn't like it. I do actually like this game um and i think that if you're looking for a survival like in in this format then this is going to do it for you i mean I don't, I don't think that anyone else has really done this yet um i personally think that it could stand to have more depth but that's because it's sort of like you know you see a, a, a something promising and you want it to live up to better expectations you don't want it to to be an underachiever i think that this can be a lot more than what it is right now.
but that being said i i still think that what what we've got here is actually pretty good so let's um i'm gonna let's, let's just speed through there the guns sound good like they feel good actual gunplay is like actually decent i do wish there was a reverse or invert y-axis but that's a very much of a me problem we've got the familiar rats i don't know i don't understand that at all the familiars always seem to come in the form of like a hand holding an illusion i feel like that maybe is to save on uh having to and oh wow we actually have ant rats on the field i got the cat familiar and it didn't seem to do oh, we wow flamethrower huh it didn't seem to actually like have a cat appear on the screen so curious i'm curious about that so we've got a missile launcher we've got homing missiles we got much more firepower than we did maybe in the last one but also i've unlocked a ton of new weapons so it could be that you know we've got a lot more potential now you know I, so like i've always i'm always like fairly down on meta progression but i won't lie like it's it is like i i understand why it is the way it is new familiar raven sure let's have another familiar oh i see so we've got another hand holding the the raven familiar so let's see how that manifests let's get the bat bat so now we've got um basically a baseball bat so we can like use it to melee hit things reward second hand revolver Oh, I see. So, like, up until now, all these weapons have been on one hand. When are we going to throw uh, the Raven? Like, at least, I will say this. I, I mean, this might change um, when the game, as the game develops, but at least the meta progression is quick. I always, I guess for me, like, if meta progression wasn't such a grind, it wouldn't feel so frustrating that I have to, like, play through five or six bad games before i get to like one actually decent one but i it never feels good to me to like hit that wall of like yeah you basically had it was a stacked deck but i guess if it's only like one game of feeling like that then i wouldn't wouldn't mind as much you reward launcher yeah i mean maybe i'm wrong for just taking weapons every time but i feel like i'm you know this is pretty good. The novelty here is good enough that it makes up for quite a lot of uh, other things. Like, honestly, maybe if if it, <laughs> I'm compelled enough by, like, just seeing a bunch of guns on the screen firing that it really doesn't matter if I'm just, like, in a corridor shooting bats. We maybe moving forward is a mistake because then I have, I guess uh, the problem with that is that you not not only are you spawning more enemies but you're probably spawning tougher enemies more quickly. Yes, minigun. Wow, those those guys take a lot of firepower to kill. You do want, like, I know sustained fire is good and all, but you do are, are kind of incentivized to, like, hold back because then you have a chance to reload and then you can hit with everything. Uh, dragon whip. I'm not actually a huge fan of the dragon whip. I find it to be really kind of weak. Weak looking and also weak damage. That bat actually seems to do more for like how it's portrayed than the dragon whip. You'd think that dragon whip would be pretty good, but it doesn't seem to be great. Uh, critical damage, reload speed increases. Mis hold the trigger damage increases the longer you hold down the trigger. Sure. Uh, we're actually taking those guys out pretty quickly now.
I don't know if headshots matter. It's not something I'm aware of. Yeah, if I like hit it with everything and then also the bat, then it, those things die pretty quickly. Might actually get through a, a stage. There are bosses. I did see a boss in the uh, tutorial. You'll see like I'm making it a lot farther this time. Critical damage, reload speed. I don't really like any of that. I am never going to be a huge fan of critical damage. Never. It's never going to do it for me. I just think it's such a weak power up to, to build on. Not because it can't do a lot of damage, just because I, I don't like the numbers game of it. I prefer something that like synergizes with something else. I know it technically synergizes with like um attack speed but like i don't i don't care like i want something that combos i want something that um works with something else Oof, ouch taking some damage max ammo increases max ammo increases okay i guess that means i don't i can hold the button down a little bit longer Seems like if I, you know, do it in intervals of like how long it takes me to kill one thing, then it works out a bit better. Familiar rat boss slayer deals more damage to bosses. Sure. I don't know if that will end up using that. Wow. Die. Let's just like move forward a little bit. I am going to die. It seems a shame. I thought I was doing pretty good. Yeah, game over. Okay. Um, well, what we can do is, um, I guess we could unlock these guns to start or we could unlock probably a bunch of guns and yeah, we've unlocked the a cursed skull reach combo 100 slay 1000 enemies there's a lot of achievements i'll give them that and then there's a lot of upgrades so probably i want to do well i've done damage too much i want to do like fire rate um max ammo you want to do all of the early ones first because that's going to give you probably the most bang for your buck magnet Blood seeker maybe increase the blood gained. Blood gained. What do you mean blood gained? We'll do the shotgun now. Got very close apparently to finishing this. Oh, we can select the music. I kind of like that. I wish more games did that actually. Um. So yeah, I mean this is the game. And I think this this will do it for a lot of people. I and it, it even it gets very close to doing it for me as well. Like I I would cover this and I would say that it's good and I, I understand recognize that a lot of people will enjoy it. Um, I think for me to want to play more of this, um, I, I need a bit more going on. But also I, you have to understand I am just very burnt out on uh, the survival genre. I, I this this I think is at least attempting to build on this survival genre in a meaningful way it's doing something I haven't seen a thousand times before but like and I do mean a thousand good lord like it's just a lot but um in order for this to have some staying power in something like my catalog which is you know it's pretty selfish but like you know it's not just the money to buy the game but also the time it takes to play it these games are very time demanding they want you to play them a lot in order to to get the most out of them 
and uh, at a certain point I have to say well I, I I can't make time for every single survival game survival like horde arena survival bullet heaven ugh. just ugh Sorry, none of, none of uh, what I'm saying right now is representative of how I feel of this game. It's just more like my um, exhaustion for the trend. Bomb. Actually, bomb worked quite well. Did I not use bomb enough in the last one? Dragon whip. I don't want the dragon whip. I'm not even going to look at like what I'm upgrading at the... And probably that's why I'm dying, but no, let's let's be honest, it's not. Give me the bat. No, that's not what I want. Show me the pizza. That'll never not be funny to me, honestly. Familiar Raven. I don't think I ever saw the Raven. Maybe like some of the familiars aren't like animated yet. We got the rats. The rats look good. I want to see the raven. Ow. Oh no. These bats are really annoying. <laughs> Why is it always bats also? Is it because it's vampire survival? But I feel like I've, I'm, I'm always getting attacked by bats in survival games. Um, I mean, max missile, sure. I'm not really using my bombs yet. I'm going to save them for when I'm getting hit by demons. Not really getting the same breadth of uh, weapon choices as I was in the last one. Nice thing about the laser is it doesn't seem to run out of ammo. Yeah, let's do this. Probably take some damage, but I don't care. Lifesteal. Oh, hey, the bat gives you lifesteal now. Nice. Oh, I should do that more often. Wait till they are like all up in my face and then do a big old bat swing. Second hand. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Now we're talking. Now I'm starting to build up something here. Can't move backwards. Backwards bad. Life steal with the bat seems really good. I like that. Real, uh, do we get like I guess that bar a second bar is not I always thought it was mana. I always associate blue with mana, but it's actually uh my experience bar. I'm just like sweeping the magnet ma like upgrading the magnet would be a really good idea because um then i could like get power-ups without having to move around so much oof i wasted my bomb it does seem to me like headshots do a bit more i'm not sure and maybe that's a perception thing launcher yeah I mean, this is this seems to be going well, but so did the last one. So I'm not sure if this is going to end in uh, success or not. It's really up to how I do against these skulls. I do feel like the the main special if is in some ways a bad thing. 
because if it like speeds up how strong the enemies get then you're really not incentivized to do it it's just kind of like fast forwarding the game but also fast forwarding you towards death Can you bat back the projectiles? I feel like I just did that. You can. You can bat the projectiles back at them. That's kind of neat. Oh, heck yeah. Game changer. I kind of like that they never told me that. Or if they did tell me that, I forgot. I like that I had to rediscover it. Yeah, the bats seeming to me like one of the best items in the game. More and more. Pulse, gun, range increases, sure. There's a lot of skulls in this latter half of the, uh, the stage. I kind of, um, I would like, I don't know which game it was that had a rear view mirror. It was like the main gimmick of, of an FPS was that you had a rear view mirror. I kind of wouldn't mind having something of like that or some indication of like, how, how am I doing for time? Like, do I have time to kind of like, dodge around or do I have to keep moving forward because the uh, the plow is like right behind me I think I'm gonna die again unfortunately I'm just taking too much damage too many projectiles on the field I could like buy a bit of breathing room I guess like not moving forward is is that I was hoping to get some uh, health from that. Oh, that looks like the end. Is that the end of the level? Or is that just... Are we just going to the next level? Okay, that is disturbed. Is that a genuine vampire? Okay, ouch. Now we're moving backwards. That's novel. What? What? Excuse me, what? What is happening? I don't understand what just happened there. What happened? Okay, I, I need a bit more conveyance than that. That it did not make any sense to me at all, to be honest. Okay, I mean, um, outside of that, I mean, early, early version of the game, uh, not, not representative of the final product, you know, all of that business. Um, we, we got to the end, uh, of the stage and we got to see the boss. Um, but, uh, I don't, I don't know what happened there. Extra gold, gold chance, blood seeker. Yeah, I don't know. Um, vampire hunters. I... I think that this game has potential and I even like it as it is now, but I definitely would like to see it developed more. Uh, and I mean, that's the idea. Um, it's, it's an early version, so I think it will be developed. And, um, you know, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad I got to try it and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that, um, it'll, it'll become something a bit more interesting. I'll come back to it, see where it's, where it is, maybe uh, closer to a 1.0. Uh, maybe when it comes out in early access, it'll be a bit better. Um, but, uh, as it is, you know, like right now, I'm, I'm kind of like teetering on both sides of, uh, if I would want to play more of it or not. But anyway, maybe you've tried it and you like it more. Maybe you could let me know in the comments. Um, and you know, just for, for the sake of the algorithm, if you enjoyed the video, definitely hit the like button, consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.